Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we learned how we can use navigation to navigate between different composables. And in this video, we will learn how we can pass arguments while navigating between different composables. So let's start. And as you can see, it is the last project that we were working on. And here inside nav host, we defined all the composables. For this example, we just have two composables. First one is home as you can see here. And whenever I select an item from my home composable, I go to task composable. Now I want to pass the selected item from home to task. So whenever I am navigating from home to task, I also need to pass an argument. And to pass an argument to the composable, what we need to do is we need to put a forward slash at the end of the root and here we will write the name for our argument. Let's say I want to pass item. Now whenever I will navigate to this task composable as you can see here I am navigating from home to task but right now if I run the application the application will crash because task composable expects an argument that is item. So whenever I am navigating, I need to pass the argument as well because this example or this case is an example of mandatory arguments. So whenever I need to navigate to task, I need to pass item. So let's pass the item. So this task is the item that I want to pass. So I will pass the task like this. Now I can receive this task to my task composable and with the help of this nav backstack entry as you can see here in the it keyword we can receive the passed argument so what i will do is i will write val item equals to it dot arguments and then a null safety operator and then dot and then i will use the function get string so you have functions to get the data type, for example, get care, get care sequence, get float, get double and all the get xx where xx stands for data type functions. And by default, all the arguments are strings. So here for this case, I have not defined any type and that means it is of type string. So I will write get string and I will pass the key that is item. Now I have the item here and this item I can pass to my task composable. So I will write here item equals to item and to the task composable I can define a parameter item of type string and the default value is null. So it is fine. Now let's run it and see whether it is working or not. But to make sure it is working, what I will do is I will display a toast. So inside my task composable, I will display a toast and I will display the received argument inside the toast. So this is our toast and now I will run it to see whether it is working or not. So this is my home screen. Now let's click on an item. So let's click on item 3 and the application is crashing. So let's check the log and destination cannot be found in navigation graph. So let's check the graph and oops I did a very small mistake. So whenever we define an argument for our composable we need to use curly braces like this. So it is very important or else it won't work. So now it should work. So let's run it and check again. So this is the home screen. Now let's click on item four and I am getting item four here. If I go back, I select item one, item one is here. So it is working absolutely fine. I am getting the passed value. Now, if you want to pass multiple arguments or parameters, what you can do is you can put forward slash like this and you can write more argument like this 
and whenever you will call this composable you need to provide item item 1 and item 2 and the same way you can receive all the values so this is how you can pass multiple arguments for this example i will delete all these extra parameters or arguments so you understood how you can pass a mandatory parameter to the composable now one thing that i already told you is string is the default type so if you don't define any type string is the type but if you want you can also define a type for your argument let's see how we can define a type so for example this is the argument that i am passing now i need to use one more parameter that is arguments and to this parameter i need to pass a list so i will use list of now i will use a function that is called nav argument and here i will pass the name of the argument so i am passing item and that is why i will pass item like this now this function that is nav argument accepts a trailing lambda where we define the type so I will write trailing lambda and inside the trailing lambda I will define the type. So I will write type equals to nav type dot string type. So here you can see you have all the values. You have string, bool, bool type, float, int array and all the other types. For this example I will just use the string type. So this is how you can define type for your navigation argument now if i run it now it will work the same way so if i click on item 2 i am getting item 2 here so it is working absolutely fine now if you have multiple nav arguments what you can do is you can pass multiple nav arguments like this so this is first one this is second one and the same way you can pass as many as required so I will delete the next one for now. So we learned how we can pass argument and how we can define type for our argument. Now let's see how we can define some optional argument. So if you want to add your argument or parameter as optional, you need to provide a default value. And whenever you are writing an optional argument you need to use this syntax so i will delete this item and this time we will use it like this we will put a question mark and then item equals to inside curly braces item now this item is an optional argument and whenever you are writing optional arguments you need to use this arguments parameter and you need to define a nav argument with a default type so here instead of defining the type you can also define the type and with the type you can define default value now default value will be let's say item not available or you can put any default value now whenever you will call this composable that is task the item that is the argument is optional now and if i remove this value from here it should work so let's run it now let's click on an item and i am getting item not available because i have defined a default value here in the task composable and if the value is not provided we will get item not available but if we pass the value let's see what happens so i will undo the change and we have the task now but because it is an optional argument we cannot pass it like this because it should match with our root so what i will do is i will write question mark item equals to and then task and we need to write it like this whenever we are working with optional arguments so let's run it now and let's click on item 4 so you can see i am getting item 4 if i click item 1 i am getting item 1 so whenever you are working with optional arguments you need to pass it like this and here you need to uh, define the optional arguments like this 
and you need to define the default value and if you do not want to define default value you can set nullable to true so you can write here nullable equals to true so either write a default value or define nullability to true that means the default value is null so this is how you can use arguments with your jetpack navigation for composables so i think that's all for this video friends if you want the source code you can get it from the link that is given in the description of this video and i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any problem or confusion you can leave it in the comments below and i will try to help you out now finally please subscribe to simplified coding if you're not already a subscriber and share this video with all your friends so thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.